guys, RC here, episode 17. This is Football Manager 20. Our climbing the ladder journeyman. We are at Lebendorf in Austria. We're off to a pretty solid start to the season. The friendlies didn't look so hot, but last episode we saw the 6-1 demolishing of newly promoted Dornburn. Uh, we beat LASK Lens 3-1. Uh, Dennis Whitman, the center back, Frank Heinrich, the left back with another penalty, and our striker, Philip Sommer, with goals in the 3-1 win. And Viner Sport Club, 6-1, our second 6-1 of the young season. Sommer with his second hat trick in three games. Andreas Baum, Raphael Bernhardt, and Mick Morning with goals after falling behind 1-0 in the opening minute. So today we are against Austria Lustenau, 10th position in the table. They were in the league last year and recent promotees, SK Vorwart Steyr, and they are in 12th position. In the competition, we have fallen into second in the table behind Wolfsberger, uh, but we do have the better goal differential and a game in hand, and we're just one point off the top. Uh, BW Lens is right there, as is uh, Bacher Innsbruck. So, normal cast of characters. So, let's get into the match today. Uh, we will be on the road, and we will be the favorites. So, we are going to go with our regular road tactic. I am going to play with the deep-lying playmaker here. So, Sommer, Morning, Baum, Navillo, Bernhardt, Polisteris, Heinrich, Whitman, Dittmar, Malachek, and Fitzpatrick. Uh, we have been getting a lot of bids on Fitzpatrick. Uh, he's valued at 140. The bids have come in at 160 and 170. I've turned them all down, and I've just told the AI to uh, the assistant manager to uh, reject any transfer bids on him. I don't want to be looking for a goalkeeper uh, at this point of the season. On the flip side, on the flip side, uh, we have gotten a offer for Roman Malachik. Uh, the one that we are looking at is $1.3 million. And yeah, I don't think we can turn that down. I have already signed a new back to replace him. And that is Oliver Distel. Uh, so he should be on the team right now. He came in from SV Reed for $600,000. So pretty hefty fee. He's valued at seven hundred, dollars and he's got four-and-a-half star potential. Again, he is Austrian, so you do pay a premium price for that. Uh, very solid physicals and mentals. Uh, technicals are all solid as well. Not, not stellar, but, uh, you know, he's still a young player. He can still develop a little bit. And uh, yeah, so only five foot four, did not notice that. But you know, he's playing a winger, so he doesn't really need, I, I guess at five four, if they jump, you can't really tell. Um, you know, when I'm looking down at him at six foot three, you know, all you're seeing is the top of their head and it doesn't look like it's getting that much closer to you. So, you know, I guess a five is legit um, and a five in heading. But uh, everything else is pretty solid for him. So he's going to be coming into the team. And he has played very well uh, at his prior club. Now, Malachik has not accepted or worked out a contract offer yet. So, uh, But Distel is on the bench. Um, yeah, like I said, not going to play center back. Uh, he is going to play right back. I wonder... Do we give him a start? I mean, Malachik is our best player. One of our best players. He's considered a key key player. Four and a half star potential. And you know what? I'm going to bring Weigel in for morning. Is Weigel... Weigel's Austrian as well. All right, so I don't lose anything there. So I do want to, I do want to play him. I do like morning. Morning, morning's got huge acceleration. Weigel's not slow by any stretch. Let's see, passing six, penalty taking eight, passing 11. 
you know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep. We're gonna keep with that. Oh man, I don't think Callum Clark's gonna play too much this year. He might get upset. Expected to pick up where you left off. Fair enough. Let's get creative. They get a set piece. That's not the creativity I was talking about. Oh, good save. Actually, it looks like it hit one off the bar. We get a goal kick. All right, ball. Nice control. Uh, I thought he was going to make that pass. Guess not. Bernhardt. Polisteris. Morning. Oh, what a shot. Just away from the keeper enough to get in that inside that far pole. And that's a one nothing advantage in the sixth minute. I didn't think that was going to go in. He didn't have a lot on that. And that looks like it went off the woodwork right into the keeper's hand. So a little fortuitous, I think. Oh, now here's where Petrov would have probably been deadly. Bernhardt. Yeah, saved. All right, well. Polisteris drops back, controls that. Quit playing around like that. Oh, what a block. That was brilliant. He just stuck a foot out there and pegged it. All right. The defense pressure's there. Oh, nice tackle. Unlucky. There you go. Sommer chest it down. Oh, nice layoff. Bernhardt picks out a pass and Morning is on it. Oh, and he just tries to lay it in again. Oh, that was unlucky. I'm getting a ton of comments popping up on my uh, phone here uh, from one of the videos that went up today. So that's good. Got somebody watching and uh, paying attention to stuff. All right, Morning comes back for that. Gives it off to Barnhart. Oh, that's stolen. See, we didn't worry about that a lot with, with Sturm and Petrov. Oh, that was unlucky. The defender knocked it away a little bit, but not far enough. And it might have actually thrown the keeper off. So we're at a 1-1 draw. Uh, let's demand more. Refocus them here. Barnhart into the box. You know, I, I still find it amazing. You know, they clear the ball, they head the ball, and it goes right to their teammate. We do that, and it's, you know, off to one of their players. All right, some good ball movement there. That was, See, right there, we headed it, and it goes to their team. Uh, morning pounces on it. He's on a breakaway. He just can't find an angle with the keeper. The keeper did a good job to cut the angle there. We do take a corner out of it. Well, there's a ball into Barnhart. Offsides? Yep. Darn. Uh, that reminds me of Yanni from uh, Leeds. He's all, he was always offsides when they would play the ball in like that this year. All right, disappointing first half. Start the second half. Anybody playing? And the Villo's not playing well. Sommer's not playing well. You know, we're at... We're at 65% possession. I'm going to go to the home tactic, be a little more aggressive. That's what I'm going to try to do. 
All right, do we want to make a sub here? All right, Balm, Navillo. Let's bring Vigel in for Sommer. Uh, Balm for Grima. We'll do that here in the early going. And we will give a shout to show some passion. Polysteris is complacent. Barnhart headed in. That's no good. Get to the ball, man. Morning. And, oh, my God. It sat on the line. How did that not go in? Oh, my goodness. That reminds me of, uh, there was a video I saw pop up on my uh, YouTube feed yesterday. And it was just a really quick video about when FIFA does not want you to score a goal. And, yeah, I get it. All right, Addison is on their side. I am going to come back with Bernhardt for Kern. Let's do that. All right. Damn, come on. Demand more. All right, we are focused. Is anything going to happen? They're playing a basic 4-4-2. All right, this is probably our last chance. Kern heads it, and it goes in. Marvin Kern, his first goal of the season. That was a little lucky. What's the old saying? It's better to be lucky than good. And let's go in and let's drop to the away tactic that we were pretty dominant in earlier, where we can... Have the little bit extra defense there. That's horrible. That was really horrible. Poked away right to their player. Oh, go figure that. Yeah, just lump it. Oh, right down the... Oh, and our guy didn't go for the ball. Gutless. Gutless. No! A missed header cost us the goal. That started with Weigel not going for the ball and letting their guy get to it easy. The Villo, that's the right winger on the on the mid right, so he's coming down. Heinrichs, our left back. Whitman, there's our central defender. There's our other central defender. There's our right defender. Yeah. It was the wrong player going up for the header. Oh, that's bullshit. We got jobbed on that game. Big time. And it was the headers that cost us. The headers cost us. Damn. Yes, the performance was disappointing. And yes, Polisteris, you can get demotivated all you want. I don't care. Keeps us on top of the league. Whitman is about to get a raise, which is fine. Taking a look at the finances, you can see we, uh, we had originally dropped down to about 2.3 million, but we've gone back up with the signings. So I'm I'm hopeful. You know, I really don't want to lose Malachik, but I'm hopeful he takes that that contract. Because one, we could use the million dollars and we could use cutting off his salary. Especially since I bought somebody on the assumption he was out of here. <laughs> you know, that he was going to be leaving. Uh, let's see. Not worried about any of that. All right. We'll see you for Vorwarts here in just a second. Well, the deal has gone through. So we're down to $2.6 in spending. And I'm... I'm 
I'm disheartened. But we, we couldn't pass on that deal. We just could not at all. I mean, that's that's a huge chunk of money. And we've got a $4 million deficit. So, yeah, that's, that's rough. But, you know, it is what it is. We do, you know, and they're in the Bundesliga. So it's a legit, legit opportunity for him. And they came in and lowballed us. We actually raised it from like maybe nine hundred thousand to the one point three or six hundred thousand, I think it was. And I was like, "You guys got to be kidding!" But when I saw they were Bundesliga, I said, "All right, well, let me see if I can at least." You know, so we almost doubled what they what they offered. We may have doubled. Uh, we got, I think we've got one point one up front, and another 200,000 in fees or in installments and like 30, 30 or 35% of profit on the next sale. So, you know, we got something out of it. So if we take a look at our team report, uh, Heinrich is starting on the left side. Whitman's in the center. So, uh, Heinrich can't move, but that leaves us Distel, who's the new player we just signed, and Dittmar, uh well, and Filer. And I don't think Filer's, yeah, okay, he's with us. So we are a little thin there. I may, I may need to look and see who we've got as a, as a back line player. Anybody halfway decent? I do have Blend, Filer, and Kern. Gilroy's working his way back from injury. Uh, we might need another. We might need another right back. And I'm only looking at Austrians. All right, you know what? You. I'm going to offer you a trial because you're a free agent. And I think we're already scouting these guys. Yeah, just not. Uh, he can play right and left. He's got good physicals. He's actually not bad. They've got a bid on him for... I don't want to pay six hundred thousand if he's not going to be a starter quality guy, though. So we'll scout these other guys, see if uh, if any of them look decent, and uh, we'll go from there. But anyway, wanted to show you guys the uh, the deal did go through. Uh, so he's off to the Bundesliga, and we're playing a ten thirty a.m. match. It's pretty early. All right, Kohler's going to come on trial. That's good. Gilroy, still way off. So he's got a while. Uh, we're not going to – he won't fit into our plans probably for another two months. All right, we're on the road in this one, so we'll go with that. All right, do we want to – you know what? I'm going to put Grima on because Navillo played pretty crappy last time. We've got Distal in. And I'm going to start Beigel with Summer this match. Just to change it up a little bit. He's got a 13 passing. As does he. 16 on free kicks. Yeah, we'll keep him. We'll keep him in there. All right, Distal needs to work on his match sharpness. Green is coming back from injury, so we may have to watch him. And hopefully we can uh, do a little bit better than we did last match. Okay, Beigel. Oh, my God. Is Grima getting sent off? A straight red? Oh, God damn. 
Um, um, boy. All right. We're going to do that and that. And then we're going to condense lines. Defend a little bit narrower. And we're going to go cautious. Oh, man. All right. They're in the red. We're in the blue this time. All right. There's a save. Show some passion. All right, good save by Fitzpatrick. This is going to be a long, long game. They're uninterested. Show some passion. Oh, that was not good. Dietmar Primus, first goal of the season. <laughs> this is a game that we should have won easily. And it's not going to look good on the old record books. Oh, that was... I think he just fell down. I think he just fell down. I think that was a dive. Where's VAR? Oh, he went the right way. Almost made the save. Two players with their first goal of the season. We might be setting Vorwarts up for a great run here, huh? They just might become the most dominant team in the league with some uh, positive morale. All right, let's look at this tactic again. All right, we're going to go back up to the higher. Yeah, we'll go up one click. Come on, boys. All right, there's a tackle right to their player. I've got five players there, and they're all just watching the ball go around them. A slight injury with a bruised shin. You know what? You can make it to halftime, buddy. Oh, shit. I don't know if that was a bad angle or what. What I want to see is who the guy marking him was. It was Heinrich. He didn't even try for the ball. All right, that may be on me. Oh, man. Uh, we're going to go full out aggressive. And let's go to the tactics. And Heinrich, we're going to bring Frick over there. That gives us our second sub already of the game. So it's going to be a long second half. Demand more. We've only had one shot. One shot. All right, there's Frick. First real look at him. All right, there's a nice ball. Baum hauls it in. Crossed at the back wall, and it's Ludovic Navillo. The young Frenchman makes a running header, perfectly caught in stride. Second goal of the season for him. Very, very nice to get that one. All right, let's demand more. Frick looked like he took a big whack. Ugh. 
Oof. All right, uh, Ditmar. For Carlos Villar. We've also gotten some offers for him, but that would make us too, too thin at center back, and he is 21-year-old, and he's from Aust he's Austrian, so... Yeah, this is disappointing. That's disappointing, but I can't, you know... It was. I'm not going to chew into them, but uh, somebody is going to get a two-week wage right there. All right, two to three days. Distel, what is it? And that was the other thing. We had an 11-game undefeated streak, and our club record was 11. So we just missed that. That dated back to last season. All right, real quick, before we call it an episode, let's check out Kevin Kohler. And see if we can find, there he is. Yeah, he's not very good. No, I mean, he's he would be three, number three on the depth chart, distal, Ditmar, well, actually not. Distal, and he'd be number two on the depth chart. <coughs> I don't think he would be a big upgrade over Filer, though. So we're going to go ahead and end his uh, training contract, terminate trial. All right, so we'll let him go. That's... That's disappointing. Can we maybe maybe I can get an Austrian player on loan. Let me look at that. I'll do that off camera. Uh, we have about a week left in the in the transfer window. So I really would like to try to solidify that area. All right, where do we come back? Let's come back in October. BW Lens is atop the table. Lifering is six. We'll come back for that. That'll give us five matches off camera, plus our second round match against Furwine, which we'll probably lose because they're a good side. Well, guys, hit the like button. I am really chapped about that red card. And, uh, yeah, what are you going to do, though, right? Had to happen. Had to happen. All right, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next episode. Take care. Bye.